day ladies and gentlemen, Joey Steven from the Pollens Studios and here is another Student Herald case law, Yarn versus Canada. Case law is not meant for people interested to apply for permanent residence to Canada, but may be used by those who feel the system is not fair or to gain an understanding of the recourse available in Canada for a negative decision. Content for this video is sourced from informa information distributed by Thomson Reuters. Judgment for this case is attached in my blog reportersreport.com as a PDF document. This is an immigration case law and includes topics like exclusion, expulsion, detention. Applicants were citizens of China. On September 25th, 2012, they were granted temporary resident visas to visit their children who were studying in Canada and to explore business opportunities. They entered Canada on September 30, 30th of 2012. Applicants intended to seek permanent resident status in Canada through provincial nominee program. On November 26th of 2013, CBSA or Canada Border Secure, uh, Services Agency received information that female applicant had multiple identities and that male applicant was fugitive from justice. Applicants were detained by CBSA. Ministers subsequently determined that they were inadmissible to Canada because of criminality. Minister issued removal orders. This was third application for judicial review by applicants in course of their continued detention. Applicants' detention was extended because member found they posed significant flight risk. Application allowed. Member stated that viable release plan must have controls that addressed specific concerns regarding specific individuals in question and given concerns with credibility and trustworthiness in the case of applicants, concluded that control features similar to those used in national security cases would not have been if uh, would not have the same effectiveness with applicants. Member erred in finding applicants release plan insufficient. Member's decision failed to refer to involvement of police and their emergency response capability in considering sufficiency of release plan to address flight risk concerns. Decision fell outside range of possible acceptable outcomes which necessitated application being allowed and decision revisited. Matter was remitted for immigration, uh, matter was remitted to immigration division for redetermination by a different member. Very interesting case, Yan versus Canada. It is dated September the 28th, 2015 from the Federal Court. Thank you.